With just two days to go before the police and crime commissioner elections, candidates across the region have been stepping up their campaigns. There are seven hoping to become the person who will oversee the Midlands' biggest force, the West Midlands. But with 18% of potential voters coming from ethnic minority communities, candidates will have to work hard to convince voters they have what it takes to handle difficult and sensitive areas of policing. Kevin Reid reports. EDL marches are just one of a long list of concerns for inner city communities. Others include police stop and search tactics and gang culture. And these seven police and crime commissioner candidates are facing potential voters in Aston to tell them how they would change policing if they were elected. My agenda is all about uh, local policing, making sure local people have a, an enormous input into how they are policed. There's a real holistic approach here about understanding what communities need, tailoring a plan to them and making sure there's a communication process that allows their voice to filter to the top. We want to bring the community together to work inside the service rather than outside complaining. Let them shape the service and let that service be a service that they want for the future. What are you going to do for all of the people who are killed in police custody? Deaths in custody are another difficult issue raised numerous times at the meeting. And for the candidates, getting their word across is key. The community needs to feel engaged in setting the priorities of the police, having the reporting back from the police, what they're doing, why they're doing, ensuring that they're confident that police are actually targeting criminals. The police have lost to some degree the confidence of some members of the community in relation to those issues. I would need to begin to work from a bottom up way to restore back that confidence. The people who are in areas where they're struggling with difficulties with crime and trying to get by with antisocial behaviour, blighting their lives, our policies are the ones that will actually help them. I think it's important that the police in all areas across the West Midlands are working doing the things the community want them to do, engaging with the community at all levels. After two hours the session was over, but were those there impressed? As one person said, uh, once they get into office, they don't just sit back and become part of the furniture. Most people, a lot of people I spoke to, know nothing about who the candidates are, so it gives them adequate opportunity to hear who they were, and they did well. The last thing I want to see is a part-time commissioner for this region. The candidates themselves have gone away, and they know they are going to be made to account whoever wins. Um, takes up the office of police and crime commissioner. Maintaining public confidence has always been difficult for West Midlands police in areas like Aston and whoever hopes to win the vote on Thursday will have to convince people living here that they can be trusted with very difficult policing issues. Kevin Reid, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. And you can find out more about the police and crime commissioner elections in your area at bbc.co.uk forward slash police elections. A woman